Welcome to the Science Asylum. I am Nick Lucid. Vivek Devar, or at Vicky Devar. Vicky? Isn't Vivek a boy's name? No judgment, just confused. Anyway, Vivek asked, why is there a vacuum in space? Well, Vicky, that all depends on what you mean by vacuum. Let's look it up. Vacuum. Noun. A device used for cleaning. Here it is. A vacuum in space. I'm pretty sure the ISS astronauts have a vacuum. Dust is composed primarily of human skin, so I guess it get dirty real fast. They have an air filter. They don't need a vacuum. Actually, they do have a vacuum for cleaning up after themselves sometimes. I stand corrected. What was that? You meant the vacuum of space? The, the vacuum, vacuum of space. space. Okay, we'll try another one. Vacuum. Verb. Suction from a higher pressure to a lower pressure. Gases tend to fill up all available space and get comfortable. That's usually out to the walls of some solid container like the ISS. Or as far as gravity will allow, like an atmosphere. If you upset the balance by, say, poking a hole in the ISS, then things get crazy. The gas will expand again to fill any lower pressure space, which in this case means outside the ISS. So yeah, space has this kind of vacuum. But technically only when we're there. Outer space. Most of the time, space just has whatever pressure it has and there's no suction. So let's try another one. Vacuum. Noun. A space devoid of matter. I mean, we like to think that outer space doesn't have any matter in it, but it has lots of matter in it. It just doesn't come in big clumps like planets or people. It's full of little itty bitty, itty bitty, itty bitty particles. There's solar wind zipping out of the sun, filling the solar system with protons and electrons. There are actually five to 10 protons in every cubic meter of space in the solar system. That's 82 to 164 protons per cubic inch, or 113 to 227 million in the space of a 10 by 10 room. Lots of protons to make matter matters worse, there's also no clear boundary between Earth and space. We officially define it at 100 kilometers, but that's pretty arbitrary. The air actually thins out slowly as you go higher and higher. In fact, 57.8% of the atmosphere is under the peak of Mount Everest, so there's not enough air to breathe up there. But I wouldn't exactly call that outer space. Outer space. 99.99997% of the atmosphere is under the 100 kilometer line, but that still leaves 0.0000 0.3% in what we officially call outer space. Outer space. And I mean, auroras happen higher than 100 kilometers, and that requires air. Super main ultimate point? There's really no such thing as the vacuum of space. So if you could build anything in outer space, what would it be? Let us know in the comments. And until next time, remember, it's okay to be a little crazy.